My drive for surfing big waves comes from a real strong love for the ocean and for surfing. Every day when I go surfing, I always learn something new. And to me, that is so compelling. And it's just rewarding and it's fun and it's scary. There's all these different components that just make me love it more and more every day of my life. My name is Bianca Valenti and I'm a professional big wave surfer. Big wave surfing is surfing waves in the 20 foot plus range. It's a big thrill seeking sport, huge adrenaline rushes and it's life and death so it draws in an interesting and really exceptional group of people in the community. It's all about flexibility, mobility, strength. It's an endurance sport, it's a marathon. We don't get big waves all the time, so when you do get them, you wanna be out there all day. You have to be really fit, really strong, really well fed and hydrated. When you're paddling for a huge wave, you need to be able to have really fast burst stability. Those waves are moving 30 miles an hour. So if all of a sudden I see a wave and I want to go for it, I better be able to go from zero to 30 in, in a second. My morning routine consists of I check the weather forecast for the day just to check the current conditions, listen to the size of the waves, the buoys. It's sort of an obsession. When I'm going surfing for a big wave as well, I mean, it's gonna be an all day thing. I actually force myself to eat quite a bit more. Hit my foam roller, my foot massager, and then I'm out the door and I usually try to do it as quick as possible because I, I like to get going. Depending on the temperature of the water, I need different wetsuits. Most frequently, I wear a five millimeter wetsuit with a hood. That keeps me really warm. I like to make sure I'm staying really warm at all times because I don't want to have to cut my session short because I'm cold. This is where I keep all my boards in the garage. So you can see I got a lot of different equipment here because for someone like me, you need different boards for different conditions. As the waves get bigger, we ride bigger boards. Since waves aren't that big today, I'm just gonna grab a couple of standard short boards because I happen to break them a lot. We're heading over to the Bar Brothers Jiu Jitsu Gym to do a movement-based strength training. We work on our strength, mobility, flexibility, and agility for surfing because in surfing you need all that. It's a total body workout. Punch, 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 five seconds. You gotta be fast like a tiger and quick like a cat and uh, really strong because obviously the waves have tons of force and power behind them. I'm getting pumped. A lot of the times I'm the only woman out there. Surfing in general is very male dominated. I remember when I was seven years old and I was the only girl out in the water. In big waves and in serious waves of consequence, there still are only a handful of us women. Usually the men are looking at you like, what is she doing out here? And questioning the skill level. But then once they get to know you and they know you belong out there, you're part of the family. I've been in hundreds of competitions, but most recently at Pipeline, I won the Best Wave Award, which is pretty cool because Pipeline is the most famous surf spot in the world, and it's like a big stadium for surfing. So it's kind of like being in the World Cup. So when you get the best wave of the day at Pipeline, and you have all the most famous best surfers in the world congratulating you, there's something about that that's just like, wow, I just did that, you know? It's really important to have positive role models for kids and young girls especially who inspire and who love themselves for who they are. My goals are to just keep on progressing the sport and promoting the sport and to help women have opportunity to compete in big wave events, and to help pave the way for the up and coming young girls and women. Surfing to me is about going out and being an athlete and having fun and having this connection with nature. I can go out surfing right now and be the only one out there. And you just feel like all of a sudden you're the only one on the earth. And there's this connection. It makes you feel so alive and just so happy and blissful. 
The motto I live by is have as much fun as possible and enjoy every moment because you never know. Be the best you can be and enjoy the process of becoming the best you can be. That's it, we finished the workout and a surf. Now it's time to go home and recover and refuel before going to work. So thanks for joining me for a day in my life.